What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Always a pleasure to be kicking down not all your beautiful souls around the globe. If this is your first time, consider subscribing, join the family. We would love to have you. Guys, we have another reaction request right now. This one's from Jazzy J. She wants to hear Meryl Bainbridge reasons why we're going to dive in. We've done some other Meryl Bainbridge, so if you haven't checked them out yet, go check the previous vids. And uh, yeah, you can go ahead and... Uh, you know, check out some of her other stuff. So, with that being said, without further ado, though, let's dive into this one for me, for Jazzy, and all of you. And let's get off tap. It's crazy in life you know you you find yourself sometimes not noticing certain things until one day out of the blue you're like boom it just hits you it just hits you and you're like oh that's why right and it's crazy because then once you realize said thing is the reason why blah bitty blue blah or this and that and the other everything else suddenly makes more sense and now you're like okay and that explains that too and that and that and that and that and that and that becomes a chain reaction i love songs that absolutely reflect said discoveries you know the journey that people have because we all have a journey we're here and we're on a journey we have paths we're taking them and sometimes we 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 have this moment of like a light bulb moment, a pop head, ping. And that's the first thing I thought of when I heard this song. It's like, she had a light bulb moment, ping. And it's crazy because I have always said that love is the key to all things. I believe that so strongly. I believe that love is truly the key to every single thing that is going on. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly, the in between. Love has this ability, right? And I just love this song though, because it's looking at a certain particular just realization, this coming to age, so to speak, you know, type of realization of, wow, it's because of love. Like, bro, that is dope. I love it. Let's continue. Mel Brainbridge has showcased her ability, her flexibility. You know, I've listened to a bunch of her songs now. Um, and, you know, you can see that there's there's this bit of uh, variety, if you will. You know, it's not always just this one straightforward type of sound. You, you are getting 
a bit of a story, you know, like if this was a book, you'd have a bunch of different chapters in this book and each chapter would have a different theme to it and a different story. And I love this journey that I've been having with Merle because I've witnessed some of that. And I remember the first song I heard of hers and I was like, man, this is dope. I think it was called like something with water or something like that. And I, 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 it, well, that was, it was one of the earlier ones that I did. It was some about water or something. I think there was one the garden as well, something in the garden or something. Um, she is really one of those artists where you go, geez, underrated, right? Like, you know, why aren't they out there more? Why didn't they have a bigger fan base? You know, things like that. Because I saw this video, I was like, man, this didn't have many views, did it? And, you know, it's crazy though, but you got to remember also that Meryl Bainbridge time, when she was probably in her peak and her prime, you know, this was a period where YouTube didn't exist, you know, yet. You know what I mean? Like she was pre-YouTube. So, you know, a lot of her music didn't get to get that social media push and things. And that's one of the beautiful things by what we do, you know, when we react to these artists out there and things like that, we bring them to this era, to the social media era and help give them that push, extra eyes on their product, you know, and, and their catalog or body of work. And that's why when a video gets blocked or, you know, like copyright claim, it kind of just annoys me. I'm like, bro, why, why, why? Like we're, we're here to help promote you. And as an artist myself, I would be so happy if every single person on the planet wanted to react to my stuff. Like I'd be like, go ahead. Hell no, I ain't blocking you. Feel free. And I ain't copyright claiming either, man. You know, have your way at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, yo, look, I like this. I like being able to explore her music and I've been enjoying it. So. Look, you know, this almost feels like the George Michael uh, reaction I just did, uh, Soul Free, but a different expression or variation of kind of a similar feeling, you know, when you find that thing, that magic, that one, that love, that thing that just makes you want to feel like you want to escape and jump out of your pants, you know, like jump out of your seat, freaking just like, just totally freaking scream and fly high and freaking feel like it's the best thing since apple pie like that happy gold lucky feeling this feels like a different variation of the same type of thing that george was talking about in soul free and i love this song you know this is just so beautiful when you've got that happy feeling you know when you feel some kind of way when you feel like you just have birds tweeting and stuff around you you ever see those like um kind of cartoons where it's happy days and the birds are just spinning like this feels like that you know that happy kind of like disney <laughs> feeling you know when oh my gosh it is love i love that i just love that but i love like you know happy feel good songs especially on days when you need that extra little kick you know um it's cool it's cool and it also is um, thought provoking, you know, when you have a song, it's like reasons why, it's like, I wonder how many times I've actually walked around and didn't notice something and just was kind of oblivious to what was staring me straight in the face. And then next thing you know, boom, holy crap, how did I miss that? And suddenly it changes your perspective on everything moving forward. It is so incredible and so beautiful and so cool. I love this. Look. I actually probably have become a Meryl Bainbridge fan, you know, um, just because, you know, I, I feel like 
as an artist myself, the most important thing we can ever do is just be true to ourselves and express ourselves in the best way that feels um, right inside our own souls, you know, that resonates with us, you know, that feels like this is how I want to express my music. And when you aren't allowed to do that, when you're being controlled and told, nope, you've got to do it this way, you've got to do it this way, you got to walk this way, you got to talk this way, and everything takes away from some of that creativeness. Um, but I feel when an artist is at their prime and their ability to be at the top of their game is when they're allowed to freely flow creatively, let the juices just come out and manifest themselves in however way that they're meant to manifest themselves. I feel like Meryl has definitely been able to, you know, express and embody that part of her, you know, make music that just makes her feel good. At least that's how this song presents itself. When I hear this, I feel like someone who's really enjoying themselves in the moment, having the time of their life, and most importantly, found the reason why. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. Thank you for the reaction quest, Jazzy. And as always, family, remember to learn to the fullest. Keep it off tap. I'm out.